brings together equilibrium and kinetics. A plus B goes to C as a sample reactor. Uh, and let's just make it a little more exciting. 2B. Whatever. Make it a little more exciting. Okay, according to equilibrium, the rates of a reversible reaction are equal and opposite. So the assumption we've been making before, uh, the rate of the forward reaction equals the rate of the reverse reaction. And we've made that assumption before to solve for reaction mechanism. Let's uh, kind of write out the details here. K for the forward reaction uh, times A times B squared, if we consider this an elementary step. That equals K for the reverse reaction times its concentration. I'm going to rearrange this a little bit. I'm going to bring K1 over here, uh, and the A and the B over, K1, uh, K prime to the left, and A and B to the right. Do you recognize the right-hand side of that equation? Mm -hmm. This is also called what? KEQ. And that's how the, all the stuff you did in 2B, remember concentration of the products over concentration of the reactants, raised to the power. Those were all elementary steps, supposedly. And uh, these rate constants, are just KEQ. So if you have a forward divided by reverse rate, that's our capital KEQ. And that's how those two subjects, 2B and 2C, kinetics are connected. Okay? Or how rate is connected with equilibrium. 